Good morning to all. In the last session, we have discussed about what is logarithms, properties of logarithms and its types and the method of converting natural log to common log. In this class, we are going to discuss about the method of finding log values by using log table. In the previous class, I told that there are two types of logarithms. One is common logarithm and another one is natural logarithm. But the values which are given in the log table are common log values with respect to base 10. The logarithm of a number consists of two parts. One is integral part, one is integral part and another one is decimal part. The logarithm of a number consists of two parts. One is integral part and another one is decimal part. This integral part is also known as characteristic. And the decimal part is known as mantisa. So, the logarithm of a number consists of two parts, one is integral part, another one is decimal part and the integral part is also known as characteristic and the decimal part is known as mantisa. Therefore, the logarithm of any number say x, the logarithm of any number can be written as both characteristic characteristic plus mantisa. So, the logarithm of any number can be represented as both characteristic plus mantisa. Now, let us discuss how can we find out the characteristic and mantisa of a given number. Here, we have to follow certain rules to find out the characteristic and we have to follow some steps to find out the mantis of a given number. First, consider the characteristic part. For a given number, this characteristic may be positive, negative or zero. When it becomes positive, when it becomes negative, let us see. Here, we have to consider two cases. If the given number is greater than 1, in that case, characteristic is positive. And if the given number is less than 1, then that characteristic is negative. That is, if the given number greater than 1, if the given number is greater than 1, in that case, characteristic is positive. And if the given number is less than 1, if the given number is less than 1, in that case, characteristic is negative. And how we have to find out the characteristic in these two cases? Let us see. Consider the first case, that is, the given number is greater than 1. In this case, to find out the characteristic, we have to count the number of digits before the decimal point and we have to subtract 1 from that. I will write here. If the given number is greater than 1, in that case, we have to count the number of digits before the decimal point. Count the number of digits before the decimal point. And we have to subtract 1 from that and subtract 1 from that. So, if the given number is greater than 1, in that case, to find out the characteristic, we have to count the number of digits before the decimal point and we have to subtract 1 from that. For example, Consider 
2025.50. In this case, to find out the characteristic, what we have to do is first we have to check whether the number is greater than 1 or less than 1. Here, the given number is greater than 1. So, its characteristic is positive. And what we have to do here, we have to count the number of digits before the decimal point. How many digits are here before the decimal point? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 digits are there and we have to subtract 1 from that. 4 minus 1 that gives 3. So, 3 is the characteristic of this number. Consider one more example 2.786. In this case, the given number is greater than 1. So, its characteristic is positive and we have to count the number of digits before the decimal point. How many digits are here before the decimal point? 1 digit. So, 1 and we have to subtract 1 from that. 1 minus 1 that gives 0. So, 0 is the characteristic of this number. In this way, we have to find out the characteristic when the given number is greater than 1. Now, consider the second case, the given number is less than 1. In that case, characteristic is negative. Characteristic is negative. Here, to find out the characteristic, we have to count the number of zeros immediately after the decimal point and we have to add 1 for that. That is, count the number of zeros, count the number of zeros immediately after the decimal point count the number of zeros immediately after the decimal point and add one for that and add 1 for that. So, if the given number is less than 1, in that case, characteristic is negative and in this case, to find out the characteristic, we have to count the number of zeros immediately after the decimal point and we have to add 1 for that. Consider example 0.0027. In this case, the given number is less than 1. So, its characteristic is negative. And what we have to do here? We have to count the number of zeros immediately after the decimal point. That is, how many zeros are here after the decimal point? 2. 2 zeros are there. So, 2 and 1 for that. It gives minus 3. It can also be written as bar 3. So, the characteristic of 0.0027 is bar 3. Consider one more example 0.85. In this case, this number is less than 1. So, its characteristic is negative and we have to count the number of zeros immediately after decimal point. How many zeros are here? No zeros. So, 0. We have to add 1 for that plus 1. 0 plus 1 gives 1 that is minus 1. Minus is there. So, minus 1. It can also be written as bar 1. So, the characteristic of 0 0.85 is bar 1. So, these are the two cases we have to use to find out the characteristic of a given number. What we have to do? If the given number is greater than 1, in that case we have to count the number of digits before the decimal point and we have to subtract 1 from that. If the given number is less than 1, in that case we have to count the number of zeros immediately after the decimal point and we have to add 1 for that. So, these are the two cases we have to use to find out the characteristic of a given number. Next, we will discuss about the mantisa of a given number.
now we will discuss about mantissa i already told that the mantissa is the decimal part of the given number and it is always positive and to find out this mantissa we have to use the log table and to find out this mantissa what we have to do is we have to neglect the decimal point and the number of zeros which are in the beginning and at the end of the given number to find out the mantissa we have to use the log table i will write the table now see here this is the log table and here this is the first column this is first row and this is the mean difference column so here in a given number the first two digits is represented by first column and the third digit is represented by first row and the fourth digit is represented by this mean difference column this is mean difference column so for a given number first two digits how we have to take first two digits to find out mantissa we have to neglect the decimal point and the number of zeros which are in the beginning and at the end of the given number by neglecting that zeros first two digits is represented by first column and the third digit is represented by first row and the fourth digit is represented by this mean difference column so to find out the mantissa of a given number what we have to do is we have to follow some steps what are the steps we have to follow i will tell you first consider the two digits first we have to consider two digits in the first column and in that column we have to take the value under the column headed by the third digit for example if we consider log of one two three four in this case we have to consider first two digits that is 12 in that 12 we have to take the value under the column headed by the third digit which is the third digit here three so we have to take the value under the column headed by the third digit which is the third digit 3 so we have to take the this value and in the same row we have to take the value under mean difference column that is in the same row we have to take the mean difference of fourth digit which is the fourth digit here 4 so in the same row we have to take the value under the digit 4 that is 14. So, the value of 12 under 3 is 0, 8, 9, 9. And in the same row, we have to consider the mean difference of 4th digit. 4th digit is 4. So, under 4, we have to take the value that is 14. Then, we have to add these two values. 9 plus 4, 13, carry 1. And 9 plus 1, 10. 10 plus 1, 11. Carry 1. 8 plus 1, 9. This is 0. And we know that mantissa is the decimal part of a given number. So, it can be written as 0 0.0913. What is the log value of 1234? That is, we have to find the characteristic of this. I already told that how can we find out the characteristic. Here it can be written as 1234.00. Here how many digits are there before the decimal point? 4 digits are there and we have to subtract 1 from that. If we subtract 1 it becomes 3. So 3 is the characteristic and mantissa is 0 0.0913. So the log value of 1234 is 3.0913. 3.0913. In that way, we have to find out the mantis of a given number by using log table. Now, let us do some problems.
While converting natural log into common log, we use the log value of 2.7182. Let us calculate what is the log value of this number. Here, first we have to find out the characteristic. Divide this characteristic part and mantisa part. Now, this number is greater than 1. So, its characteristic is positive. And how many digits are there before the decimal point? Here, 1 digit is there. So, 1. We have to subtract 1 from that. That is 0. So, 0 is the characteristic of this number. And we have to find out the mantisa. To find out mantisa, what we have to do? We have to neglect the decimal point and consider first two digits that is 27. Here we have to take the value of 27 under the third digit 1 that is 4330. 4330 and in the same row we have to take the mean difference under the fourth digit that is 8. That is under 8, the mean difference is 13. Then add these two. 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 3, 4. This is the decimal part of the given number. So, it can be written as 0 0.4343. Now, the log value of 2.7182 can be written as both this characteristic plus mantisa. That is 0 plus 0 0.4343. It becomes... 0.434343. So, this is the log value of 2.7182. Consider one more example log of 0 0.09801. In this case, we have to find out the characteristic part and, and mantisa part. So, to find out the characteristic, what we have to do is, first we have to verify whether the given number is greater than 1 or less than 1. Here, this number is less than 1. So, its characteristic is negative. In that case, to find out the characteristic, we have to count the number of zeros immediately after the decimal point and we have to add 1 for that. After the decimal point, how many zeros are here? 1 0, that is 1. Then, we have to add 1 for that plus 1. It becomes minus 2. It can also be written as bar 2. So, bar 2 is the characteristic of 0.09801. Now, come to the mantisa part. Here, to find out mantisa, what we have to do? We have to neglect the decimal point and the number of zeros which are in the beginning and at the end of the given number. So, neglect this decimal point and here we have to consider the digits 98. So, we have to take the value of 98 under 0. So, the value of 98 under 0 is 9912. 9912. And we have to take the mean difference under the digit 1 that is 0. Now, if we add this, we get 9912. It is the decimal part of the given number. So, it can be written as 0 0.9912. So, log of 0 0.09801 equal to both this characteristic part plus this mantisa that is 0 0.9912. Now, add these two. We will get 2 bar point 9912. So, this is the log value of this number. In this way, we have to find out the log value of a given number by using the log table. So, this is the end of the session. Thank you.